All right, let's check your forecast as we head into the weekend. I don't know about you, but I'm excited about the forecast. Yes, yes, just that sense of feeling warm air, not being all bundled up and, you know, fending off the rain or, or worse yet, the snow, Peter. I agree with you wholeheartedly, and uh, we just should stop the seven-day forecast after Monday. And, and then things are good, right? Well, it's not my job. We're going to show you the whole thing. But, yes, we get to taste some of the warmth first before things backpedal. Here's what's new and what's next. Between now and the end of the weekend, there'll be changeable conditions. Well, we had a lot of sun this afternoon. There will be times there's some sun, but also times where clouds will be thicker and an opportunity for some showers. However, I have a feeling that the majority of the weekend, if you said, oh, let's start the clock right now and the weekend ends Sunday night, the majority of the time it's dry. But we'll let you know when the best chance of rain is in a second. Warmer and wide ranging. Well, we're talking about Sunday. I think most of central New York should be in the 60s or 70s. However, like we've been saying the last couple of days, there will be an opportunity for some spots to get 80 plus. Finger Lakes appear to be the best chance. I'll show you specific cities in a minute. And yeah, it's still going colder Wednesday and Thursday of next week. So it's not like all of a sudden you can just put away the winter clothes just yet because it does get colder midweek next week. Believe it or not, I know we just had snow Monday and some spots over a foot, but the pollen count is ramping up. Now, there will be an opportunity of some rain tomorrow afternoon that would wash out some of the pollen and lower the count. But if you've noticed your nose being sniffling and maybe you took a PCR test or a, a quick test, it may be it may be allergy related because the pollen is starting to get pretty high around here. Anyway, I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV. No, just kidding. Uh, the, the pollen count is high. So if you're an allergy sufferer, FYI. Anyway, a chilly start tomorrow, 30s early in the morning. Then sun gives way to clouds, but we should manage to get somewhere in the 50s. But then remember, we've got an opportunity at some passing showers tomorrow afternoon. And still some on and off showers are possible right through Saturday night. And even very, very early Sunday morning, like daybreak. Then watch Sunday afternoon temperatures. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see some of the differences Sunday afternoon. Part of this, and most of it actually, is the wind direction. The best chance to get a southerly breeze and to get to 80 is Geneva, Ithaca, also not shown away from the shorelines of the Finger Lakes. Look at all these 80s. However, let's call the city of Syracuse your anchor point of 70 to 75. You go south and west, mid and upper 70s to lower 80s. You go north and east, now you're talking 60s. And if you happen to be going and visiting relatives or friends in northeastern New York, it's only 50s there. Now, that's a wide range. Just want to make sure you guys are aware of the differences. But certainly everybody's warmer in central New York. And it stays warm Sunday. Clouds and sun. While I can't roll out a passing shower Monday, the best chance for the steadiest rain or thunderstorms is at the very end of Monday into Monday night. In and out of rain with dry periods in between Tuesday 58. And then there's Wednesday and Thursday. Well, at least it isn't happening on the weekend, right? Stanley Law Skywatch, Regency Tower camera. Put the cherry on top of Friday back inside.